What are the core challenges in promoting religious diversity in multicultural societies? One of the core challenges is that we are seeing an increase in hate speech, especially in social media. And social media um, has provided a, an environment where you can actually create almost conditions of a tsunami of hate. So what we've been seeing now in various social media is a dramatic increase, what has been called a tsunami in fact, of hate, often targeting specific minorities. In fact, where we do have data, what we're seeing in countries where we have a objective, clear data, um, something around or around 75% even more of religious or ethnic or racial minorities being specifically targeted. So it's become a modern phenomenon which we don't seem to be able to address. How do you stop or try to regulate hate speech against minorities, particularly in social media? Why do you think there is this rise in hate speech and, uh, and a rise in group hostility? It's complex, but I think we can summarize it in this way. First of all, there is an increase of um, prejudice, hate speech, as you said, but also a dehumanizing of, uh, towards minorities, certain minorities. So there is, uh, and we've noticed this in a number of countries, a growth in anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, anti-Gypsy also feeling. So there, this phenomena, I think, is connected to a world which, also, on the one hand, has become more uncertain, unstable, unjust. Many people fear insecure, uh, fearful, and they are trying to find sometimes easy answers to complex situations. And that has resulted, it seems, to increase nationalism also. You have certain actors, certain influencers, but also politicians who are using this, these prejudices, these uh, biases, to say, well, certain groups are to blame here, or there is a conspiracy. And all of that is creating an extraordinary fertile ground where you have social media being expanded and used to the extent that you can actually reach millions of people very quickly. And we've seen it in history. You actually create a boogeyman or a group that you portray as a threat and you have people rallying around you. And this, these are the conditions where we see a rise of hate speech against particular groups that are seen as a threat or dangerous or alien. And that is, to my mind, one of the main causes of this rise, this tsunami of hate that we're seeing against minorities in social media, anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, anti-Roma feelings. How do we address these issues from a human rights perspective, particularly from a minority rights perspective? Well, first of all, we have to understand that the fundamental human rights is freedom of expression. And that includes saying things that are not always very polite or very nice, um, especially targeting minorities. But in international human rights law, freedom of expression can be restricted where it is justified. In other words, you can say many things, but if you, especially if you incite violence or discrimination against people, then that can be, in fact, restricted as part of international human rights obligation. It's a kind of a balancing act. It's not always straightforward. You have to consider a whole series of conditions, of context. But at the end of the day, freedom of expression does not allow you to incite violence against a particular group or individuals. And in fact, it could even go towards to the extent of calls of genocide. That's illegal. That is against international human rights law. In relation to this, what do you think is the role of social media in inciting violence or even in protection of... Uh, social media is not, um, if you will, insulated from the application of international human rights obligations. And one of the, I would say even a failure that we have is that governments have been reticent, hesitant in terms of applying regulations to social media, even though governments have an obligation to do so. Just to be clear, under the Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, it's a treaty, a human rights treaty, there is actually a legal obligation to prohibit and regulate and prevent incitement to violence and discrimination, including calls to genocide. This is a very clear obligation on governments. However, for whatever reason, governments are hesitant. They don't seem to be very eager to regulate or try to regulate social media in order to fulfill the international human rights obligations, including in relation to incitement 
to violence and hate speech that reaches that level.